Here's a picture of myself, my twin, my triplet, and uh, today we're working on the multiplicity project. Adding a copy of yourself to the same picture is nothing new. Chromophotography was an early process of capturing motion on film and was a predecessor of the motion picture. Today, we can use digital photography to get the same dramatic results. So grab your camera and your tripod and let's get started. Set up your camera and your tripod. Then set up the scene that you want to photograph and use your camera's timer to take several pictures of yourself posed throughout your scene. In this case, I took three different photographs, which we'll use Photoshop to load up the pictures. The first thing we need to do is save all of our pictures to a folder called Multiplicity Project. Let's select all of them and click and drag each of the three icons down to the Photoshop icon in our dock and they'll open up in three separate windows. If they're all docked together, don't forget you can click on the name, drag them out, and have them in three windows that you can easily move about. Now we're going to use, let's say, this one as our base window. Notice that the background is the same picture as what we're working in. Let's choose our selection tool, which is the first icon in our toolbox. It's the black arrow. Let's go up to the window drop down menu and make sure that snap is selected. It has a check mark, check mark next to it. <clears throat> With our selection tool, we can click on any of the other pictures and drag them over. And when we release our mouse, it'll easily copy and paste those pixels into this document. You can look in our layers window and see that this picture is on top of it in layer one. Since it's the same dimensions and I have my selection tool selected, I can click and drag and have it easily snap to the side and the top of this document and everything will line up perfectly. With that one in there, I'm going to click the red button, close that one out. Let's do the same with this one for me in the background. I'm going to click and drag and release it on top of that one. This one is on layer two and just like the other one I'm going to click it and snap it to the side and the top of this document as well. So now I have all three images in one Photoshop document on each layer. I'm going to close this one out and we'll work exclusively on this document. Okay, so we remember in our layers palette that the eye icon located next to little uh, preview window, if we'll click on it, we'll turn off the visibility of that layer so we know what layer we're working on. It's very important that you know which layer you're working on as you'll be erasing out the pixels on different layers. So for now, let's turn off layer two by clicking on the eyeball icon and just work on layer one and the background. So with layer one selected, we want to make sure that it's highlighted in blue. We're going to go over back over to our toolbox and select our eraser tool. The eraser tool is located in the center of the toolbox and it looks like one of those old fashioned rectangular erasers. If we'll click on it, you can see there are some other different type of erasers underneath it, so you may be seeing the background or the magic eraser, but we want just the regular eraser tool. Now the eraser tool is going to act just like a brush, and with any other brush, if we look in our toolbox options at the top of the screen, we can adjust the size of it using the slider, and we can also adjust the hardness of the edge. For this project, let's keep the hardness pretty small, down to zero, and we'll want to adjust the size accordingly, but for now I'm going to keep it up around 200. That'll work for now. Also, let's make sure that our opacity is set to 100%. What we're going to do is erase out all of the pixels that are in this area since this layer 1 is on top of the background. By erasing the pixels on layer 1, we'll be able to see all the pixels below it which 
in theory, will make us show the image that's below it, which will show me. Since we took this picture using a tripod, it'll make it look like we're painting on my image. So let's get started. All we have to do with our eraser is click and drag over the area until my picture is completely painted in. Be careful not to erase out any of the image of yourself on layer one, however. So if you accidentally went too far, you'd be erasing this picture as well. So in a few strokes, I've quickly added another copy of myself into this picture. But we want to do the same thing now for layer two. So I'm going to go layer two and turn on the eyeball. Now remember, it's covering up everything on layer one as well. So we'll have to repaint in all the pixels on layer one, but make sure layer two is selected and re-erase everything on layer two. And now we'll have to re-erase everything on the first layer. So this image completely shows up. Now I have a slight problem. If I accidentally erase too much, then I'll be erasing the person behind me. So I'm going to edit and undo. I want to adjust the opacity of layer two so I can give me an idea of what my image looks like behind that. To do this, on the layers menu, let's change the opacity from 100% down to about 50%. Now you're able to see both layer two and everything below it because it's only showing 50% of the pixels. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to reduce the size of my brush just a little bit so I can get in all these details. Now when I start to paint, I can go all the way to the edge of my shoulder and my outline without worrying of going too far over the edge. And there you have three copies of yourself in one photo. You can finish it off by going to File, down to Print, and printing it off on the color printer.